Andrea Mercier aka Anlom and welcome to my YouTube channel. I got a question from a lovely lady named Artfully Yours with Diana over the weekend. She asked me, um, after coming to my home page, she asked me how do you feature certain videos on your home page? And I tried to explain it in um, an online text and I know it can be difficult unless you see what I'm talking about. So I told her I'd make a short video and show her how I did it. There, there might be different ways of doing it, but this is how I did it so it would give her uh, a little bit of help. So what you do is you go to your home page and then there is a edit button right here for this portion. So this is for returning subscribers and then there's also a click for new visitors. So this is your welcome video that is shown to someone on your home page if they're not already subscribed to you. So it's here under for returning subscribers and you click the edit button and it opens this up and it says choose a video or playlist to feature here and also show this on all my uploads. So what that says is whichever video or playlist that you feature when you click this it will also do that after your your upload so when they watch the video it will flip over to what to watch next. Um, and what I've done is I have always said that the default content for this is my latest upload, so my newest video. Now you can click here and pick something. So if you have a really popular video, or if you have um, a channel that is describing a long or complicated process and there's one video that everybody should see first, you can choose that video here. However, for me, it's always what's my newest thing that I'm doing. And then you click done and it does that. And you can also, just while I'm talking about this, you can also change the content and the layout of all of the sections after that. Let me just press cancel. So this one is upload, so it shows my uploads and then I have one that has my selected playlists. So these are basically my art alongs and my how-to videos and also my saved ones. So I always save my CAC events so that when someone comes they can click on it and see everybody else's videos as well. So for upload you just go in, you tell it how you want to lay it out, horizontal or vertical. I like vertical. You can pick all sorts of different division so your popular uploads your most liked videos your your immediately posted ones upcoming live streams if you do live streams like cinnamon does um, she can pre post so people get a few days notice you can do that you can do past live streams you can do it by playlist you can do all sorts of different choices I like to just have my newest uploads and then you press done Yay! So that's how you do that, Diana. I hope that helps. Another quick thing is right over here you have featured channels where you can feature your favorite places. So I have Cinnamon here and I have Patty Tolly Parish who I watch all the time and then I also have my Creative Arts Collaboration group. Those are my um, most watched and most popular so you can add, you can edit this module, you can add as I think as many as you want. I don't think that there is a limit to how many you can put in. And if you have a friend who has a channel, you can feature each other so that when you're done, um, someone can go over here and go, oh, her favorite channels and click, click, click. So you can do that as well. I also thought that with the CAC, somehow we could do kind of like a channel swap where you can team up with somebody. Like I did a collaboration with Letitia Finder last month. So for that month, for January, I actually had her up there. So because we had a collaboration going, I thought it would be nice if we could flip back and forth easily with our 
with our subscribers because we don't have the same subscribers. Anyways, that's my tip for the day, how to change your homepage for returning subscribers and what to watch next. I hope this helps you, Diana, and I hope this helps other people as well. Have a great day. Bye.